Hello, today I'm going to be showing off two things. Firstly, I'm going to be showing off how to record in large FOV on a Pimax without worrying about the any distracting black bars or losing too much of your FOV. And then I'm going to be showing off how to use the VR Perf Toolkit's fixed foveated rendering to help boost your performance while recording and playing, but without it showing up and being distracting to any viewers who might be watching. So firstly, there is going to be the um, capturing the your right eye recording on large. Just going to use the OpenVR capture here. Uh, it doesn't matter what I name it. So I'm going to set up two of these. So firstly, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to fit this one to screen because let's see, fit to screen because this is going to be a, a, act as a bit of a control to show how much FOV you're actually losing while recording. And we're going to just do this again. OpenVR capture. Capture. I'll just name it R so I know what it is. So now, this is where we're going to get to the cropping. You're going to click and drag this here. Just overlay this. Keep doing this until you've got something set up like this. At, the, at this point, now you're going to start doing your cropping. Now, you could just go into the uh, properties and do that, but that's too, too much of a hassle. We can do this quicker. So, you're just going to hold alt and then click and your left mouse click and drag like this then you're going to do the same try and remove as many of the black bars as you can on all sides you won't, don't want to get too much on the left here but you because that's so your centered view but you can afford a little bit i like to do that so we're just going to crop a little bit more once you got how you want you're just going to click it into the corner then without holding alt click and drag this so we're just going to try and get some more horizontal fov pull that down a bit and then okay we can get a little bit more so we're gonna do that and then there you go we're just gonna and then make sure it's filled up so you don't have to worry about any of the black bars and ta-da, look at what we have. So some comparisons, this is just cropped. And you can see on here, this is how much FOV you're losing. So everything kind of around from here, if you oh, accidentally drag this, didn't want to do that. So everything from kind of around here, you are losing. So that isn't an insignificant chunk, but it's much larger than normal. I'll show some comparisons right now. And you can see that you get quite a bit more FOV on large. So some people might like that to show off just how much wider the Pimax is. Now the other one, since we've taken care of that, is the VR Perf Toolkit. This is a fantastic thing, which I recommend pretty much everyone use, especially on the 8KX, since it's great for saving performance. So you're going to open that up on the YML once you've installed it in the game. The instructions for that will be on the GitHub. Just go down to the fixed foveated rendering settings and make them look like this. Now, the only one you need to have similar, at least with Mycroft, is the outer radius. The other two, the mid radius and inner radius, you can mess around to your liking, depending on how you like the image quality. But this one, if you have this to less than 1.4, you're going to start getting artifacts on your screen, and I'll show what that looks like now. With default settings, it's really bad. Like a whole third of your screen is going to be really obvious where the rendering is once it's blacked out. It's not that way in the headset itself, but it's just not pleasant to look at as a viewer for when you're recording something. Now, this is a worst case scenario as the fovea rendering circle is incredibly obvious, but there are some times in possibly some games or maps where it may not seem as obvious. And I, you can see some footage right now where at times it doesn't look like you can see the circle, but then if I pan in certain directions or over certain objects, well, then it becomes very obvious that it is still there. So you can potentially tweak this on a per game basis if you really wanted, but I just like having one simple preset I can rely on and not have to worry about fiddling with everything and just know that it will work no matter what I use it for. And I've noticed some pretty good performance jumps from when I've been recording uh, with it. I was a quick test I did with Pavlov here using the footage you can see when I had on all ultra settings while recording, FFR enabled and FSR, 
I got 84.45 frames with uh, FFR disabled, I got 71.40. And then with both of them disabled and then just pure native 4K, it was 66.46 according to FPS VR. And that's quite a big difference having both of them enabled. Do keep in mind this was just from testing in Pavlov. Uh, results may vary by game and some games this may not even work for. But for those it does, it's a nice little way to get some extra performance while recording and not have to give up your large FOV. Have fun!